Hey, what up, everybody? It's your boy C through the script here, and today is May 17, 2021. I got a real interesting story for you. However, before we get down to it, I want to show you a really relevant clip, and then we're going to get straight into the numbers. So stay tuned. We have established the most enormous medical entity ever conceived, and people are sicker than ever. We cure nothing! We heal nothing! All right, and what you just saw there was a clip from a film titled The Hospital, released in 1971. And uh, need I remind you that The Society of Jesus Equals 71, the pandemic, uh, was declared on the 71st day of the year. That's March 11, 2020. However, the reason I bring all this up and I show this clip is because CNN released a very interesting article today. And the headline reads, there's no way I can pay for this. One of America's largest hospital chains has been suing thousands of patients during the time of the pandemic. And again, this was released on May 17, 2021. So, let's get into the numbers the story is very interesting they actually tell quite a bit once i read through the story um so let's just get straight into it all right so i wanted to start with this excerpt from the article here as it states hospitals owned by community health systems inc one of america's largest hospital chains have filed at least 19,000 lawsuits against their patients over allegedly unpaid medical bills since march 2020 even as other hospitals around the country have moved to curtail similar lawsuits during the coronavirus pandemic a cnn investigation found so notice how the headline states that there was 19,000 lawsuits and again we're living out the time we're living through the time of COVID-19 also notice in Gematria chaos equals 19 tragedy equals 19 and it's definitely bringing a lot of both so I gotta say that this article is truly filled with a lot of gems because as I read the article I started to just see all the clear examples of how the number games are just flourishing throughout these things and uh, here's a clear example notice it reads the company's 84 hospitals which are concentrated in the south and the stretch from Alaska to the Key West, Florida, have taken their patients to court for as little as $201 and as much as $162,000. Notice the 84 hospitals and the $201. The Jesuit order, who's behind all of this, equals 201 in reverse and 84 in reverse full reduction. But basically, to sum it up, patients have unpaid medical bills due to the coronavirus pandemic which ultimately began on March 11th, 11-3, and has also been the world's biggest scam, 113. Notice how each of these phrases has the value of 113 in the same cipher, which is reverse full reduction, taking numbers and reducing them to their singular form. All right, so the article states that this is all revolving around one of America's largest hospital chains, which is under the branch of Community Health Systems, Inc. And the current CEO for this company goes by the name of Wayne T. Smith, who is currently the age of 76 years old. His birthday is January 29th, 1945. So as we could see here, from Wayne's 76th birthday to the news about his company, that's January 29th, 2021, to May 17th, 2021, is a span of 108 days. Notice that Community Health Systems, Inc., equals 108 in our most pure cipher so do they really care about your health or are they just a money hungry conglomerate motivated by pure evil notice that health has that gematria of 108 in reverse as well as pure evil 108 in reverse well why i and so many others believe they're operating out of true pure evil is the way that people have been treated throughout this whole ordeal but uh, as you can see in the article as it was a long one i took another excerpt from it as i found how they were using more number games on us and it states cnn found about 24,000 lawsuits filed by the company's hospital including more than 19,000 filed on or after March 13th of 2020 and notice that again the majority of those are coming from the national emergency over COVID-19 but as you can see here to your left lawsuit 
in full reduction equals 24. Notice how CNN stated they saw 24,000 lawsuits. But again, the also another number that's in big focus is the number 19. And notice that 19 when spelled out has matching gematria with Jesuits. And to further solidify the point being that this is nothing more than a scamdemic for the medical industry and the pharmaceutical industry, let's look at another excerpt from the same article. As it states, CHS in 2020 enjoyed its most profitable year in at least a decade, even as it was suing patients during the pandemic. The company made $511 million in net income last year, a big swing after four straight years of annual losses. The strong financial result led to the company's top executives earning millions of dollars worth of bonuses, according to documents it has filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission. One reason for the success CHS has been buoyed by taxpayer support. It received $705 million in pandemic-related aid from the federal government's CARES Act and other state and local programs in 2020, not including additional government loans it will have to pay back according to its 2021 annual report to shareholders. And again, just notice how they've netted more profit than they ever have uh, in at least a decade and consistent four years of losses all during the time of this pandemic. Um, and one number to point out in question is the actually two for that matter, but the first is the 705 million, much very similar to 75 when you remove the zero. Notice Catholic Church and New World Order equals 75 in both reduction ciphers, but also the 511 is interesting as it's a reflection of 115 and Masonic equals 115. All right, so if we're coming at this from a numerical sense, as we are, there's no way we can't discuss the number 56, as the number 56 is very relevant. I'm not going to go through each one, as the list is super large, and there's honestly way more to this. However, I highly recommend pausing the screen and either screenshotting it and getting these more or less embedded in your head, because this is what the reality that we're living in is scripted by. But to explain the number 56 in short, um, the number 56 fully reduced is 5 plus 6 equals 11. That's uh, using the form of uh, numerology and uh, 11 being a master number, hence why world changing events like to occur on the 11th day of the month. Think 9-11 World Trade Center bombing or uh, March 11th who declares COVID-19 a global pandemic. All right. And to end the video off here, I did just want to close it out with my final statement, which is think about it. A global pandemic will lead to a global response, which will require global governance. Who's going to be behind the global governance will look no further than the Society of Jesus, at which their logo is IHS, which stands for Jesus Hominum Salvatore, and notice how that matches with One World Government. Well, that about wraps it up for this video, y'all. I appreciate everybody who stuck around. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. You can also follow me on my Instagram at see through the script where I post daily. Other than that, it's your boy script, and I'm out of here.